which is better, $1,500 foot condo or a $1,000 foot condo. So we're going to look at this today, and we're going to look at how much you actually need to break even, what's the rent you're going to need to get in order for those investments to make sense. Yossi Kaplan here, Toronto Real Estate Agent Mortgage Broker with Search for T and Search Mortgage. And before we start with the 1500 a foot versus 1000 a foot, I wanted to let you know the last time I put together a quick site called condocorona.com. <laughs> and uh, this site is basically just a download site to give you the basic supply list that you're going to need. At least my friends and I, that's what we put together. So just go to condocorona.com. It's going to flip to uh, the landing page. And then just hit the download PDF here. Then we go to Dropbox, it's free. You don't need to register. Nobody knows you downloaded it, it's full privacy. And there you go. So this is mostly um, plant-based, natural. And I try to put some prices here, <clears throat> more or less. These are on the high end of prices, so surely you can get organic for this price. And then there's a summary of the prices there. You know, if you wanna save on it, just go to Freshco, uh, or one of these uh, generic uh, supermarkets, and you get everything for less than half price, I'm sure. Uh, good to be prepared. Okay, if you need the XLS, the Excel sheet, that's that. And then there's another tab right here, supplemental, that uh, a couple of my friends did. So, you know, these are our personal lists, but it's a good start. Use them. Uh, uh, use them. Hopefully it's useful. Hopefully you don't need to use them. There you go. Okay, so <clears throat> yesterday I was looking at why is per construction 30 to 50 more expensive than resale? And I noticed that the price at condos.ca was 870. When I logged into condos.ca this morning, it's already at 880. Now it's going 10 bucks a foot overnight. <clears throat> What's well, mostly depend. You remember this here was 599 and uh, say 799. Uh, yeah, 599 and 799. So you can see they've added uh, 27 units here and 51 units here. Therefore, when you add it, when they added this unit, the average went up. But if they added more units, the average went up. That means that the units added probably way more than average in order to pull average up. So just to tell you, we're in an upswing here. Um, now it's showing 868 for January, which is good. So where this number came from, I'm not sure how Condo Zati exactly do their numbers, but nonetheless, you can see it's going up significantly. I mean, this was in the high sixes uh, less than a year ago. So that's a lot. Okay, that's a lot. It's definitely, when you look, when you look at the stats, just remember their stats, it's just to even everything out, but in reality, things are not evened out. Um, if you buy something relatively cheap, relatively cheap means lower dollar per foot or in stocks, uh, lower PE ratio. That's kind of the value of the stock, the inherent value of the stock, if you will. Okay, PE ratio is the, is the um, price to earnings ratio. That means what's the price of stock in, uh, in uh, contrast to the earnings of the company. So. If it's 40, that means for every dollar that uh, they earn, they sell your stock that's 40 times that, or 2.5%, okay? Uh, here, it, it's, it's uh, real estate is usually about 3 or 4%, by the way. Uh, so what that gives you a P ratio of, say, 33. Uh, nonetheless, 880 here, 870 yesterday, it's going up 15% uh, year over year. That, that's more or less in line with what Trev said, too, okay? So let's jump right into it. Uh, yossikaplan.com, you can sign into the newsletter or just get the articles here for all the uh, in-depth investment articles. That's the YouTube slash Yossi Kaplan. That was yesterday's um, video, so you can see some more videos here. Thank you everyone for liking, subscribing, watching. It's really cool. So I'm going to go to the Condon Calculator, condoncalculator.ca, flip you to the uh, landing page. Name, email, I'm not a robot, and then you get a link to the Dropbox with this file here. Uh, so today we're gonna do, we're gonna look at, uh, say downtown Toronto, 650 square feet, then we look at a 650 square feet. So this one is selling for 1,500 a foot, this one's selling, it's the same condo for 1,231 a foot, and this one for 1,000 a foot. The location doesn't really matter, just to illustrate. <clears throat> say in the center, halfway center, farther from center. <coughs> okay. The price 975 here, so that gives me 1500 uh, foot, 20% deposit required. Now, this whole thing about 20%, you know, that's a psychological barrier for a lot of people because that's the minimum you need to do in order to um, get a mortgage without paying the extra, the extra fees, extra insurance fees. 
But in reality, you don't have to do 20. You can do less than 20 if you if you qualify. You can do more than 20. Uh, you know, they'll always let you do more than 20. You can buy everything for 100% cash. And then all your carrying costs are really your condo fees and taxes. All right. So here you got to put about 200. That's a million. So a fifth of that is 200. And you're looking at, if you're to buy new, of course, uh, it'll be, f say, four payments of 5%, about 50,000 each. 195 and then left on the mortgage is 780 now here's going to calculate for you the monthly expenses on this imaginary 650 uh, square feet uh, that that could actually be a two bedroom uh, by now you know it's not going to make any difference here just at the bottom I'll show you in a second uh, the maintenance fees uh, I put them at 75 cents a foot but anything in yellow you can change so you can change it if you like uh, they come to 488 that's that's reasonable and that's without park if you want parking and add about fifty dollars locker at about 20. So at about seventy or eighty dollars per month on top of this, basically looking at about you know a buck a month for the maintenance and the tax. So I think my estimate is a little high here. Let's bring it down a bit. That's more. That's pr probably more like it. Um, the mortgage can also come down a little bit. It's not going to make a lot of difference, but let's just try two eight nine. Okay, I saved a few bucks. So forty five hundred a month. Forty five hundred a month. You're going to need to carry this unit based on these assumptions. You put 20% down, the maintenance fees are about 488 a month, and you that your uh, tax, municipal tax, about 366, and then that's your mortgage, more or less, calculated by uh, the spreadsheet. And the formula is right here. Okay, that just comes with Excel, or with whatever spreadsheet you're using. So just put the numbers here, and it's, it, it'll do it for you. Okay, so here's the break-even analysis. The cost, as we know, is 4,500 a month. And the cost per bedroom, I put two here, so it, it divides by half. It's 22.49, 22.50 per bedroom. If you bought these 650 units, say at the fanciest of fancy uh, buildings, would you be able to get 4,500 a month uh, in rent? In today's money, maybe not, but maybe in four or five years from now, probably. And the rent requires 6.92, so about seven bucks a foot. Today we're looking about four dollars a foot average, so it's quite a bit more. Um, now, how much rent do you get? So let's say I got, uh, let's say I managed to get 3,500 in rent for this unit. Maybe I get a little more. So now I'm, I'm $1,000 out, okay? Um, if I had a three bedroom, then my cost per bedroom is only 1,500 and then maybe I can get a bit more, but that's too small to be a three bedroom. If I were a one bedroom, of course, the whole one bedroom will have to carry for the cost, for the entire cost. And then the cost per tenant is very high. Let's stay with two, so I can get 3,800, some out, $700 a month. So what can I do? I can put that money back. And that's where a lot of people get stuck these days. They're like, but, 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 but. Okay, well, nobody said, nobody said that the 2080 is, is what you need. Going forward, you're probably gonna need to put more than 20% down in order to reduce the cost of mortgage. So reduce the mortgage component, which is this one here. Um, or you're going to need to put some money out of pocket every month to cover it up, okay? Either way, you got to come up to this cost or whatever the cost may be for you. <clears throat> so if I wanted to, uh, to investigate, what would it be? So just take this occupancy here, and even if it's for resale, let's, let's say what happens if I put 10%, an extra 10% total of 30, so I put another 97.5, 100,000, and now my monthly cost came to 4,043. Okay, that's better. Now I'm out of pocket, 243. Okay, I'm gonna, let's try 15, see if it gets me to break even here. Uh, yeah, so at 15, it cost me 3,800. And if I can get 3,800, you know, $15 here or there. Would, so at, uh, at uh, a total of 35, excuse me, uh, a total of 35%, which is this here, then I break even, okay? Now let's take the same condo in the Midtown at a uh, two bedroom, 650 square feet, but this time the cost was 800,000. So let's zero that again. Okay, so the 20% will be 160, the mortgage is 640. The condo fees, we assume that there's the same. The municipal tax is slightly lower because it's calculated based on price, not based on size. Leave it at that. And uh, the mortgage is lower because I have to borrow less, right? I'm borrowing 140 less, you see the difference here. So 37, 79, 3,800, 3, Can I get that 3,800? Same like before. If I do, that's great. So that means that 
the midtown condo or the condo for twelve thirty one can uh, break even basically if I paid eight hundred thousand for it. So that extra two hundred thousand one se one seventy five that required another fifteen percent deposit in order to get to the same break of, break even point of thirty eight hundred. Okay, what happened if I go um, and I actually buy the six hundred fifty square feet for a thousand dollars a foot? Then I'm paying six fifty wherever that condo may be, thousand bucks a foot. My twenty percent drops to one thirty. The four payments. There's no really four payments if you buy a resale, but you can see thirty two five. Deposit is one thirty again and five twenty for the mortgage. Condo fees are the same. Taxes are slightly less because they're quite a bit less actually. Um, I'm not sure what the tax is going to be, obviously, but just guesstimating here. But it'll give you a good idea. And the mortgage is dropping to 24.30, and now my monthly carrying costs are 31.61. Obviously, if I manage to get 3,800, I'm way, way up. I'm making 638 dollars a month. Um, let's assume I'm not, because when I'm moving to a cheaper area, when I'm buying a cheaper area, you can assume that the rent will be less too. But uh, all I need to do is get 3,200 here to break even and that means a cost per room of 1581 or 1600 a month um, if let's say if that's let's say if that's like the Keeley Tippett Road there around that area if I score the two bedroom so Keeley is uh, up towards uh, York I've showed you other videos before and um, it's on Urban Realty and uh, or Tippett Road where the Nordic condos and the Rocket condos Maybe able to get a two bedroom for six fifty there. I'm pretty sure you can. Maybe even a little less. Maybe for six hundred thousand. So now it's okay. Now actually you're making sense. Let's see what happens if I. So that's nine twenty three a foot, and I only need three thousand, so I can reduce my break even. To three thousand, I'm breaking even, and that's just on the fifteen hundred the room, uh, which makes a lot of sense for two say two U of T students living in one of your condos. So you bought two 650, 650 square feet, two bedroom. Um, 36 Lisgar, which is still has some problems, but that's uh, Queen West. You can also get a two bedroom 650 for that much or less, and that's Queen West. So uh, you can see the differences are massive. This is 4,500 a month, this is 3,800 a month, and it's about 3,000 to 3,200 a month. Okay, that is, that is significant. So these are the differences. When you're looking at these differences, you can see that if you're gonna spend 1,500 a foot, you gotta make sure that you're buying like top of the top of the top of the top. If you are actually intending on on holding the condo and trying to break even or making some money out of it, um, you're gonna need to put more money down. Okay, 15% more in this example, maybe more, maybe less, to bring this. What happens when you put that extra 15% on the other ones? If you have that money, so here I put 341 deposit, 280 and 210, um, you can see that my break-even costs are dropping significantly. So 3,800 for the expensive one, 32 for the mid-range, and 2,500 a month for that two-bedroom that I managed to buy at uh, $923 a foot. And I put 35% down, and now my cost is only 2,500. And now actually I'm starting to make 465, so cash over cash, 4.65% return. This one's pretty good too at 4.37. And this one's just breaking even and I'm banking on appreciation. I'm basically using the condo as a store of value. Store of value means I, I just keep my money there. You know, I don't trust the stock market. I, I just want to buy real estate. And that's a lot of people, that's what they do, they buy in real estate. Okay, so that's that. Uh, I think it's a good time to also uh, refresh the condo calculator. So what I'll do is what I'll do is I'll keep these numbers around. Those are pretty good, actually. I'll just make this 650. That's very nice. And I'm going to upload this sheet to the Condo Calculator. So if you were to download the Condo Calculator today, you're going to get this version. Uh, I'm going to put it with a zero here. Okay. We're going to give them here a 4,200. Say 4,000. Okay, and for this one, we'll call it 3,500 and 3,000 here. Okay, that's it, my friends. So that is how we figure out the $1,500 per foot versus the 1,000 bucks a foot. And here's the middle, 1,231, 1,250 will be actual middle, but gives you a pretty good idea.
Okay, this is free to use. Just go here, and that's it. You'll see out.